that's okay. A total blowout there. I was blown out in the eyes by the Jazz Unis. I'm not I, a fan. I'm digging them. If it matches my paper, it's not good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, especially like when. Them, well, I do like them. I, I, but again, I, I think they belong in Phoenix with the Suns. Because that would be it, nice. A rising sun. Exactly, right? right? But we didn't see that from the offense from the Jazz. Meanwhile, we saw a lot of offense. And bickering between these two guys. You know, the LeBron Lance dance always features Lance as the instigator. But these two guys, the guys that we saw last night with Rondo and Draymond, they both take the lead. Rankings, it makes sense since things change uh, via free agency and then again. You love after these the rankings. Draft. I love them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we, paid him, we paid him to say that, that Bill Bullet. And you can imagine he's. <laughs> he Nobody's played him. anybody yet, have they? <laughs> All right, listen, Bill, but for the. Sake of argument, mm -hmm. here they are as we look at the top ten, and of course noticeable. And this, you know, we don't have to go out a long limb here. The Eagles and Patriots, the two Super Bowl teams. This team in the National Football League coming back next year because of who they are, the coaching staff in another year, Carson Wentz, Nick Foles, that motivation by your quarterback. What they have is rare right now because what they have is a in the middle is another big free agent sign. They just got better and better on top of a world championship. Team. Listen, we're and splitting the hairs. Here. Added two good players in the draft, but they did not add a pass rusher, yeah. and that's the reason they lost the Super Bowl. It's just a different situation, but obviously a lot of folks curious to see how this works out for. Kirk and Cousins. I don't, I don't like to, to joust with Bill because he's a Hall of Famer. We're from the same neighborhood, um, but. I look at the Vikings, and I see an issue just because they have a new offensive coordinator there. They're going to have to make a lot of different adjustments, get comfortable with each other, because we just saw it in Atlanta last year, which is why Atlanta is. Not even the only quarterback to attend the Met Gala last night. I believe Cam Newton. That's all I need. That's all I need. Yeah. We have Cam Newton. Oh wow. Oh, I like that. Cam came strong. Cam came strong. I don't like the glasses parted. In other words, some of these changes with regards to pass catchers that will make the biggest difference for their respective teams. Bill, we'll get you to rank them because we know you love it. Well, so. that's right, but it's about impactful. And okay, I so he's along... okay. you're okay with that. Oh, yes. Okay, so I brought good. along my trusted assistant, Mr. Bruski, who is okay. going to uh, unveil him. So, uh, Let's go from five to one. Teddy, number five, please. Number five. Sometime is unnatural for them. Is it unnatural for, for Zeke or Dak to step up and be that vocal leader that Jason Witten was? A little bit of a transition in their role that they have to assume because eventually it's going to be their team. They it didn't is now. have to do it before, and now it's their turn. He's passing the torch and moving on. Number three. Go ahead, Mr. Bruski. Do you remember?